going on guys and welcome back to another video. Uh, now today is quite an exciting day for me. Um, I have in the past, uh, in past videos mentioned a little bit about money and about saving money and about my goals for the year. Um, and although this video isn't about that, um, part of achieving sort of financial success in this year was all down to this thing that I'm about to show you. Um, now, <clears throat> one of the, my aims for, for this year is to be a bit more financially stable, a bit more financially independent, um, and I'm trying to achieve that in multiple different ways. And um, my one piece of advice, if I give any from this video, is if your aim and you're looking at trying to save money for whatever reason that might be, um, don't just rely on one form of income, okay? Try and think about as many different options as you can uh, because, you know, you might be really successful at one option, but because you're not trying it, you know, you're not actually benefiting from it. Now, for me, one of the things that um, I, I feel is important is, you know, saving onto your money. Don't just spending it willy nilly, making sure that the amount of money that you spend is as small as possible, but the money that you save obviously is, 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 is as much as you can really. Um, so you're not necessarily making extra money, but you're being more aware of the money that you already have. Now one of the things that I've got um, is sat right next to me. Um, oh, okay, and it's this thing. Now this is like quite a traditional money pot. Um, I think they're called pots of joys or something like that. Um, I can't remember. But either way, it's um, basically it's a money pot that hasn't got a slot at the bottom. So in order to get the money out of it, you have to break it. Um, now, my mum bought this for me a year or so ago uh, with the intention that I use it to save for a flat or a house. Um, hence the, the front of it says new home fund. Um, and basically, um, within the last year or so, my objective is to try and stick as much money in it as possible. Now, when I say as much money in it as possible, like I'm referring to things like pound coins, two pound coins, I know there's the odd note in there, but either way, any spare change I've got went in the pot. Now today, I, um, I've got to a point where I physically cannot stick any more money in it, uh, and especially sort of halfway through last year and into this year, I, I basically set myself the goal of keep on saving, actively trying to save, so if I go to the shop and I spend some money, if I've got some, some sort of change left, popping it in here rather than spending it, wasting it on things like drinks and stuff. Um, and so my objective was to basically keep on filling this up until I can't physically fit any more money in it. And um, you can't really see this right now, but basically you can't fit any more money in it. I try and it just won't work. So it is time to break into it. So I have a selection of cameras set up and we're gonna break into this bad boy. So I've got the camera there, another one there, and I've got you here. And my weapon. Right guys, I just smashed it using a trusty little baseball bat that's actually got all of like the brick dust from um, this. Now, having not thought too carefully about this, there is now like porcelain everywhere. Um, like, yeah, stuff all over the place. But, it, it's there. Now I don't think I've ever seen that many pound coins ever, all in one space. Um, hopefully the video capture was good. I'm not entirely sure, we had three different angles, um, but there we go. Now the first thing I'm going to do is move all the money and then I think I'm going to need to hoover. Yeah. Oh. Right guys, so I have cleared all the money, that is on the food 20 thing, now I need to hoover because this table is covered in dust and there's bits everywhere. Alright, let's get on with it. Right guys, so we are all hoovered and all the money is together. I need to count it now, so 
that's the next job. Um, I'm really not entirely sure how much money is here. Uh, I will give you a peek. There you go. I'm really not entirely sure how much... Let's refocus. Boom. I'm really not entirely sure how much money is there. Um, it's one of those things, whilst putting money in, I was really focusing to only like focus on like the larger m coins. There goes the Hoover. Um, so, you know, my... <laughs> My aim was to like just use two pound coins, one pound coins, and really to try and make it um, as worth as much money as possible. So I'm going to count it now, and then I'll let you know how much is here. Fingers crossed, I've made, saved a reasonable amount. So I have finally counted it all up. The money is right here on the table. I have six hundred and sixty-nine pounds and forty pence that I have saved. Um, now I was hoping it the amount to be closer to a thousand pound, but as I said, unfortunately, like I wasted some space with the, the the silver coins and stuff. But overall, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, the, the, the the sort of the points take away from this, and what I'm so happy about is. Like, this didn't really take any effort whatsoever. Um, this is change that I would have otherwise spent on stuff that I really don't need. So, you know, like, when you have, like, that loose change in your pocket and you're out and you're like, do you know what, I really fancy a Coke. Or I really want a Snickers or whatever it might be. Or, like, I fancy a coffee. Instead of going and going, do you know what, I don't actually need a coffee. Um, it's cost, it's going to cost me, like, three or four pound. Um, I'm just going to take my change home and make a coffee when I get home. When you have this mentality, guys, you can see that it actually adds up, okay? For the last, I don't know, six months at least, I've really been trying to be really careful with, like, spending it unnecessarily, especially on things like, you know, going into a shop and buying, like, a bottle of Coke that costs a pound or one pound fifty. And, you know, when people sort of shrug their shoulders and say, well, it's only one pound fifty, yeah, but when you add all that up over a t period of time, it equates to some serious money. Now... Okay, this isn't going to be life-changing money for me, um, but if you think about it in this way, my car tax is due, um, my car is due its MOT, I'm, uh, my car is also due its insurance, so like all my car bills are coming out, and that will hopefully cover all of it. So really, like I'm not having to pay for my car other than fuel for this year. So if you look at it in that way, I'm saving a big amount of money. Um, the next thing is to try and get this into the bank. Um, I have got some money bags. Um, so hopefully the bank will just take it all in and it will be alright. Um, if not, I'll have to take it in sort of sections perhaps. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to I'm going to learn from it. £669, took about a year and a half. Um, and all it was is just any any amount of like coins that I had left in my, in my wallet and my purse. Instead of unnecessarily spending it, I saved it. Alright, for some people this is a payday. I know that seems a bit extreme for some of you, but this might be a payday. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to actually buy myself another one of those pots and I'm going to start again afresh, maybe even this evening. Um, and then hopefully um, in a year or so's time I can film this a, a very similar video to this uh, and sort of compare how much I've been able to save. But yeah, so there you go guys, that's, that's this sort of video all wrapped up. Um, I'm not doing this to show off money, clearly I'm not showing off money because I've had to stick this in a freaking pot for the last year and a half. But nonetheless, guys, it's about being savvy with your money and investing it in the right way. Um, although you might not consider this to be an investment, like actually every single time I put money in that pot, I'm investing back in myself. And now I've got a payday of £670 or thereabouts. Um, so I'm going to wrap this video up here, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, if you don't take, if you take one thing away from this video, buy yourself one of those jars. Try not to spend unnecessarily. And hopefully, like me, you can find yourself racking up a little bit of extra cash with really no effort whatsoever. So I'm going to leave this video here, guys. If you liked it, please give this uh, video a like. If you've got any comments, maybe you've done a similar sort of thing to me um, and you've got any tips for, for myself or for um, other people watching this video, please leave a comment below. I'll, I'll get back to you. Um, and if you enjoy my videos, as always, guys, subscribe. So until next time, bye. Boom.